Good morning, and welcome to a, another week to study God's Word together. Today we do so studying one of the most, I think, straightforward sections in the entire Bible, but one that is oh so hard to apply into our lives. I'm going to read a, a section of this, um, just a portion, from Matthew 6, chapter uh, Matthew chapter 6, verses 25 to 34. I'm going to read a few verses. Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more important than food, and the body more important than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Who of you, by worrying, can add a single hour to his life? So do not worry saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Lesson is pretty clear, right? Do not worry. So easy to read and follow here, and yet, as I said earlier, so hard to apply into our lives. Because there's so, so many things to, to do, and there are so many things to worry about. And I don't have to go through all of those, but just consider what those, those things are in your life that can crop up and make us worry. The list is long. But Jesus reminds us, encourages us, teaches us that really... Worrying is, when you step back, it is pointless. Because what does it accomplish? Well, it doesn't accomplish very much. But even that thought process can only go so far. It's really that key verse in verse 33, where Jesus tells us how we can get over that issue of worrying. Verse 33, but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. God says, I got this. Just put me first. Think about me first. And we do so. Remember all those wonderful things, all those promises that we have in store, being connected to him. It's those promises that the good, the struggles, the bad, the, the ups, the downs in life, God's working through all those things. And he's doing so for our good. It's those promises of that he will provide for us. Just as he provides for the birds of the air, he'll provide for us, protect us, watch over us. So those promises of our sins forgiveness, forgiveness of sins, and that eternal life in heaven with him. And brothers and sisters, as we think about that today, as those worries start to creep into your mind, try to switch your thought process to, to seek God first. Think about those godly things first, your relationship with him first. And I, those, those fears, those worries, those doubts, they just, they'll just go away. Because we're reminded of what, what we have, what has already been done. And what we have with our relationship with Christ is beautiful. And it's a guarantee. Catch yourself worrying. Seek God first. Seek his kingdom, seek his righteousness, and know that everything is going to be okay. Let's pray and ask God to help us do this. Dear Lord, thank you for watching over us, for providing for us, for winning us the forgiveness of sins, for, for all the wonderful promises that you give to us. And Lord, help us to focus on these today and every day and allow us to, to keep that as the primary focus of our life, to know that we have nothing to fear. We have nothing to worry because you got this and you are watching over us at all times. Lord, strengthen us in this today and every day. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Lake Nativity on Saturday, 3 to 6. I uh, hope you can come out and make it. I believe that's all the, uh, all the announcements for now. God's blessings on your day.